this is the three-step wrap pant. We did it. I had so much fun. Um, I want you to see them on and then I'll show you the close-ups off. But they make me look skinnier and it's really just the pants. So if you want to look thinner, this is the way to do it. But I'll show you all the secrets. But I want you to see what I wanted. I'm going to show you the wider leg and the narrower leg. I wanted to do a narrower leg. And I love this little V. I love the little cross as it comes up. So I'm going to take them off. We'll go to the table and I'll show you all the things to look out for. Welcome, welcome. All right, so I've taken my pants off, loaned them to my friend here so we can talk about them a little bit more. And there's a few things when you're doing wrap pants that you just want to think about. This is the same as the wrap sleeve. It's just so simple and so much fun and such a great variety to our clothing. So there's really two options. If you look at this photo, I'm going to show you that this is a woven fabric. And this is cute. It's flared at the bottom. I just love it. It's just not what I wanted. <laughs> So you're gonna to have to decide if you want woven or knit. And, and if you do woven, I'll show you how to do that. But if you're gonna do knit, you'll change patterns according to which one you would use. Like if I'm gonna do that woven, I would probably do 3200 as the base. Simply because I've got a wider leg to start with um, and, I, and it's gonna get me there a little quicker. I wanted a narrow leg and a knit or a stretch woven, one of those. And so I started with 3418 because it was close to the leg. And that's exactly what I wanted. If, however, you're going to do something like this that's this close to the leg, it can't be left open like the woven. Notice how it has to be stitched down because if you make it and don't stitch it down, there's a little bit of negative ease and the pant will, it won't lay open. It won't stay open. I mean, it will stay open. In fact, it won't wrap. Even if you add extra, it won't wrap and have a thin leg. So what I did is when I wanted the thin leg, I knew I had to stitch this all down. And so that's what I did. And there's two layers here because I'll show you the pattern here in just a minute. It's just part of the process, but I love it. Now, so first off, think about your styling and what you want. I chose 3218 because it has a seam at the center back. And that seemed to me kind of balanced the seam or the wrap in the front. And it was a slim leg and I could use a stretch woven. And I decided what I wanted was a stretch denim. Denim is so popular for fall, dark denim. I just really wanted a new pair of fresh, dark jeans, kind of, is kind of what I was going for. But keep in mind what you want and all of these variables are gonna really work for you. So before we go on, let's look at the pattern work. Um, again, I'm using 3218. It's called the Slim Four Piece Yoga Pant. The back already has two pieces, so I do nothing to the back, but I did shorten it, and I shortened it two inches. Again, because I thought styling-wise, for right now, it'd be cute with just a little pump or a sandal, and then for fall, it'd be really cute with a little booty. And I just love the little, you know, pants are a little shorter right now. They're showing them a little cropped, and so I just really like that shorter look. All right, so the back, all I did was shorten it for two inches. The front then, what I did is I copied, this is the front piece, I copied the front. So just make a whole nother front. And then again, I came up two inches because that's what I took off the total length. Take your curve and just lay it down and go from the inseam to the outseam. And the numbers I used, I went from 21 to nothing. So 21, swoop it off, and go to nothing and mark where this is because this is where you stop sewing it into the back seam all of this is left open so you don't want to be sewing along and oh oops i shouldn't have sewn that kind of i put a notch there so that i knew that that's where i stopped sewing it to the back and where where it opened up okay so then once i copied it and i copied the second piece like the photo i did not want it into the inseam i wanted it to hang loose and so I stopped it short, and then when it went into styling, all I did was I turned it around this way, and I lined it up to the same design line as what I used for the other side. And you can see it just came right into the front. So this piece is the side, the waist, I cut it off narrower, 
and then turn it around and just draw the design line. So what you see is you have this pedal effect. One goes over, one goes under, and it opens up. So you have a dual front, which is exactly what I got. And I love it. So that's the pattern work. I take it two couple inches off the back, duplicate the front, draw my design line, that's it. If I decide I'm doing this and I then want that woven version, I would slash, open it up, and, and add all the fullness I added. You always pay attention to circumference at the hem. So again, if we go to that photo, that's about 22 inches at the bottom. That's, that's wide. So I'm going to slash all my pieces, figure out what I have now, what I want, and then slash my pieces to get the total amount that I want. 22 inches, 20 inches if you're smaller. Um, you can't go too small or else, like I say, it won't give you that flare of what that photo has. But again, now in my case, I didn't want flare at all. So once I took away, I was good. Except that you do have to stitch them down because otherwise, like I said, they won't wrap. They'll unwrap simply because it's a stretch woven. So do this first. I hemmed this. I think it'd be cute not to hem it. But I went ahead and finished this up, hemmed it, and I created the, the dual front. And then just sew it into the side seam all the way down. I hemmed mine before I started so that once I surged the bottom, it was all hemmed and, and finished and ready to go. But I love them. The goal is to just kind of think about what do I want? Do I like the wrap pant? I decided I do. I, I just love it. I think just because it's a little different and I love details in pants. Not like details that scream and shout because this is a detail that it just, I don't know that anybody would notice particularly but me, but I just really like it and it really gives you a long look, a lean look, I'm telling you. It's not that, I, that I'm that i thin, it's the pants. It's just got this great line. So, you know, if you're looking to lose a few pounds, this is a great way to do it. But sew this first, create that front, sew it into the side, sew it into the inseam, and you're good to go. All right? So the goal is think about the project through when you're doing it, and happy sewing from Silhouette Patterns.